So it's five o'clock and I think uh, we should start. Uh, good afternoon to everyone who joined us and also hello to those who will be watching this video later. My name is Lena and I will moderate today's meeting, a meeting which is dedicated for dentistry and medicine study programs. And if you are here or if you are watching this video, it means you want to know uh, Lithuania, Vilnius and Vilnius University better. Or maybe you are already considering to study here. So my colleagues will give you a brief overview and hopefully will help to make some decisions. If you will have any questions during the meeting, um, please write them down in the chat and we will try to answer questions at the end or we will contact you personally later. Uh, and now I would like to introduce uh, the first speaker, Damian Melkowski. Uh, Damian is um, our student from Medicine Study Program and also he is chairman of the Students Associ uh, student Association in the Faculty of Medicine of Vilnius University. So, Damien, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Lina, for this introduction. And uh, thank you very much for you joining this meeting and showing interest to um, study in a medical field. Um, as I was already introduced, my name is Damien, and I would like to tell you today something about out of a student's perspective, how it is to be a student at Vilnius University. Damien, we don't hear you. When, when did you not hear me from the last time, from the beginning? No, not from the beginning, but... Uh... Last few sentences, okay. I think. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so we will talk about, as you can read or probably could already read, about uh, reasons to study and also for our international guests, uh, reasons to study abroad. Um, a little checklist what you need to know before um, starting your studies. Some facts about Vilnius and about Vilnius University and also about uh, facilities that uh, Vilnius University provides. So first of all, why did I, as a student from Germany, I myself, I'm from Munich, Germany, uh, decide to go abroad and uh, choose Vilnius University as a student? So first of all, which was for me very important, was to have this kind of personal development, that I'm going out of the comfort zone, that I will not speak in my native language, that um, I will have a European degree, which will be veiled in the European Union and equally veiled in all EU countries, um, which means that uh, due to the um, Bologna commitment of the European Union, all the European degrees are veiled equally. So. Um, Therefore, as we are already talking about European Union, here in Vilnius, a lot of students from everywhere around the world come together. So you're really creating a global network among students, which makes it really, really interesting because you meet people from different cultures, from different countries, and you have a really, really big social exchange and uh, can use this also for a skills development and working, for example, in an international team. And uh, you can also, by the way, improve your uh, language skills. And uh, for those who are really, really, really motivated, they can also speak uh, or try to speak Lithuanian and to grab a few sentences uh, in the national language. So here are some very typical things that you are going to see in Vilnius. So probably one of the first um, very impressive things that are very unique are those trolley buses. These are uh, relics from um, yeah, former times. And those are very old buses that are run, uh, that run 100% just by electricity. 
So it is very, very cool to um, to ride with them. Then also I have put up a few pictures of um, like sightseeing things, what you could do. So first of all, there are uh, beautiful places as for example, Trakay Castle, where we students usually go just for a day trip on a Saturday, um, we take the train and uh, enjoy the beautiful region of Lithuania. You can take beautiful hikes in parks and forests. And uh, afterwards you can uh, get to know with the extremely uh, tasty cuisine of Lithuania. For example, very famous potato dumplings, they are called cepeline and um, a cold beetroot uh, or beetroot soup. It is really, really tasty. Um, which is also very important to say that Lithuania is uh, highly digitalized, so you will meet one of the fastest internets in the world and um, very modern um, yeah, things and devices that are distributed everywhere around the city. For example, those e-scooters or uh, car sharing, everything which is uh, kind of just um, managed by using your mobile, uh, mobile device, your mobile phone. Uh, this is quite cool actually so you will uh, see a lot of things that are very very far ahead and you sometimes have the feeling that you uh, live a little bit in the future so why to study in lithuania itself is i can just simply say that there are many reasons many good reasons and the best would be to uh, find them by yourself by coming here and to uh, see this uh, beautiful country this beautiful place to study and to live and to uh, have a very good experience so what i actually did not know when i came here that uh, lithuanian at, as a country and also with its uh, language is one of the oldest cultures and also languages in the world and um, here in this country, everybody is absolutely crazy about basketball. So when you want to meet somebody, you should know that next or tomorrow on Thursday, Jalgiris Kaunas is playing and uh, it's uh, better to be prepared and wear the, um, the costume of the basketball team. So um, very, very interesting and which was also one of the main arguments why I choose Vilnius University uh, since Vilnius is actually a European capital so it's the capital city of uh, Lithuania and um, this is also one uh, one reason and if you look how the city is designed it's um, for me it was quite impressive to see so many green and uh, yeah just so much nature around an urban city. So um, there is actually a statistic. So 40% of the vegetation in uh, Vilnius is covered by um, by green stuff. So forest parks, there's quite a lot to do outside and the air quality is also really good. And probably you already know Vilnius without knowing it because it's one of the main cities where um, series from the TV shows from Netflix were uh, Hollywood and HBO produces their series, so probably you have been already in Lithuania without knowing it. Um, what you should know before you arrive to Vilnius University, a little checklist, or to Vilnius is uh, when you come from a non-European uh, Union country, this is definitely, you should check the mandatory visa or entry acceptance criteria for your country. Um, you should uh, check your vaccinations that you have, that you have a health insurance and also that you have all your official documents that you will need. And uh, about the application process, you will um, later on get more detailed information. But it's very important to have just those things together because it's also just it makes the whole process to become a student more easier. So I have um, also added a few uh, phrases that you could already learn before you come to Lithuania to survive the taxi ride from the airport to, uh, to your flat or to the place that you're going to live. So just a few very simple phrases and how it would sound is if you would ask somebody um, 
what's your name? You would ask Kokstavo Vardas. And uh, if you would like to get a telephone number from a new friend, then you would ask Kokstavo Telefono Numeris. And also it's actually quite important because all of our Lithuanian is not that good. We uh, quite often use this word which means I do not speak Lithuanian. Factors that are also important uh, regarding Vilnius, you have a lot, a lot of um, events. There is actually no day where there is nothing interesting to discover. There is museums, art museums, cultural museums, historical museums that usually changed quite uh, regularly. So you can do quite a lot. And uh, which is also quite interesting in this city that the moment that you enter another district of the city, you have totally different characteristics of personalities that walk there. Uh, the art differs, the architecture differs from the different uh, time lapses. So um, for young people, it's a really, really cool and just uh, developing nice cultural city. So therefore, it's um, very interesting to live here from the like cultural perspective as well. So a little bit about the story of uh, Vilnius. There was uh, some day in the Middle Ages, long time ago, there was a guy, uh, he was called uh, Duke Gediminas. And uh, he slept, uh, and during his sleep, uh, he uh, yeah, had this dream uh, about an iron wolf, which is um, which is telling him a story that he should build a city. So then he built up the city in Vilnius and moved from um, from Turkey to Vilnius and said it's the new capital city that I'm building. And um, so you see a lot of those uh, medieval. Uh, relics in the city, which is also very interesting to see those different time um, times of architectures, and uh, it's just a very lovely old city to live in. Um, about the living, it's um, also quite easy to find an accommodation. So Venus University does, for example, um, also provide dormitories for students which are um, very affordable and it's cool because you actually can live together with uh, friends that study in the same university or somewhere in the same environment. You have directly some kind of access to um, social interactions. And for those who would prefer to live in a separate apartment, um, students usually um, just check Facebook or the uh, internet pages where you can easily find uh, some accommodation places and it's usually very uncomplicated. And our faculty also organizes a mentoring program. So um, when you will apply to the university, you will just be able to contact your mentor and uh, he or she will um, assist you with finding accommodation or uh, where to get the best um, results for your needs and uh, you will not be left alone at all. So Vilnius University, I've added a few pictures of my colleagues um, of, of our studies, of our groups. So as you can see, uh, we are considering each other as a big family. So we do a lot of things together. We um, are studying in small groups. Usually we are around 10 to 12 students in one group. Um, the professors all know our names. We know the names of the professors. If we have some very urgent need, we write our uh, professors an email at uh, 11 o'clock at night, and usually we get the response three minutes later. So um, this is a very a familiar atmosphere. And um, we also do things together that are not related to the university life. So, for example, there is a very well known among, me among medical students a football match or basketball match, and we all drive there together as a big family and support our teams. So, you see that this is a very, very strong community here, and we really like to do things together as one big family. So, as I already said, we have very familiar atmosphere and um, what is also very important that the professors are always open 
and are actually uh, willing to help. So whatever uh, you need, you will never left alone. And this is not only about professors. So it's basically uh, if you if you really have some issues, you just knock and at one door and people will help you. So there is always this kind of um, support. As well, you have uh, 24 hour services, so you can use the library, which uh, works all the time around the clock. And um, all, all, also, for example, you have a very, very nice different uh, buildings of the faculty. Unfortunately, I cannot show it to you today, the whole faculty, but it's also old historical buildings that uh, also meet new science centers um, with very modern laboratory and our cl clinics are also on the highest modern European standard. So therefore we have quite, um, we meet the old things and also the very modern things, the best of two worlds. It makes it qu quite nice to uh, develop a nice study environment. What is also interesting that uh, for good performance um, or for social activities, uh, university offers scholarships. So um, social engagement is also very um, appreciated and uh, also recognized in this way. Uh, Vilnius University, that you can imagine how big um, a university is in comparison to a school where we all came from. So at this school in Vilnius University, we have um, around 20,000 students, um, around 3,000 uh, academic teachers that um, are working here at the university. It's over 10 faculties, so 10 different schools integrated in one big school. One of them is uh, Faculty of Medicine. And um, you see that there are more than 5 million publications available in the library. So it's actually quite a huge uh, amount of data that you can use for your studies. And it's actually available for free for all of the members of Vilnius University. Um, there is a huge program variety, so you have um, bachelor studies, master program, integrated studies, uh, doctoral studies. Um, you can also apply for residency in Lithuania and participate in different exchange programs, for example, Erasmus or um, yeah, um, Arcus Alliance, which is a network of different universities. So about the admission, you will uh, still listen uh, from our experts. You should also know that there is uh, the possibility to come through agencies to uh, Vilnius University. And um, there you have always some entrance examination and um, you will you will get support in your application process. As I already mentioned, and I have met the picture, what I already um, was talking about before. So you see uh, the old meets the modern. We have the historical buildings in our university, as well as the very modern buildings, um, which is often quite impressive. And our university also hosts its own botanical garden, which is also very beautiful and not far away from our university facilities. About the studies, so um, as I already told, we are often doing small group teaching. Small groups means that we are in average 10 to 12 people, uh, sometimes more, sometimes even less. Uh, we have lectures where the um, teachers provide you with information. We have seminars uh, which are designed to develop your skills, uh, for example, um, manual skills, working skills, and uh, teamwork, group work, critical thinking. Uh, you will need to participate as a student in group projects. Um, you will meet also regular testation where you will um, be evaluated as well as you know already from school. And um, here in Lithuania at Vilnius University, we have a grading system which um, is from 0 to 10. 10 is the best, 0 is worse, and usually the parsing grade is at 50%, so you need to have at least 5 points to, um, to be able to proceed with another subject. 
As I already taught, there is a lot of possibilities at Vilnius University as well as the student life and the different networks. So we have different clubs, programs, hiking clubs, uh, library clubs. We have uh, research, which we do a lot, a student guided research network where students support each other in different research projects. The university provide, and especially faculty of medicine provides uh, free gym opportunities for students. And um, you can also always uh, check different events that are, for example, organized from students to students, um, student parties, uh, different mentoring events, uh, different workshops, lectures, dis uh, discussions. There is a lot of things to do. Uh, we are also very um, active in the students' representation, so where students have the opportunity to join actively and uh, be socially active in the university society, as well as the Erasmus Students Network, where you have the opportunity to make or participate in exchanges around Europe, and uh, which also uh, invites you as a student to participate in very interesting um, new opportunities that can arise. You will um, come, you will settle, you will begin your studies and you will um, really meet different activities. You will join a sports club, you will join um, different academic and social activities which you will do together with your friends. It's just studies is a very, very amazing time. You will definitely enjoy it. And uh, even in case if you would like to find work opportunities, you will always uh, find those in Lithuania because uh, student jobs are very easy to get and also quite um, quite nice to to do there. For example, working in a restaurant, there is always some uh, helping hands needed. So I think that the question round will be in the end. Uh, thank you for listening. In case you have any question, you can always contact me and uh, I will be glad to receive your requests and uh, try to answer all of your answers. Thank to answer you, all of your questions. Thank you, Damien, for an excellent presentation. You are the real ambassador of our Faculty of Medicine. And now I want to introduce uh, one of our professors. It is Professor Ruta Bendenskaitė, and she will provide uh, you some information about dentistry study program. Uh, Professor Ruta teaches in this program herself, and also she was elected the best lecturer for 2022 in the Faculty of Medicine. So, Professor Ruta, please. Hello, everybody, and I would like to share my screen. Uh, hopefully, you can you can see now. And uh, so, thank you for for introduction. Um, so, um, let's talk about dentistry, cause is so important. Uh, first of all, to uh, decide that you want to be a dentist, and if you uh, decided to study hard, to 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 learn a lot, and to be the best dentist ever, then it's your uh, then you are welcome to come to us and uh, we will help you. Uh, the thing is, if you are uh, good enough in concentration, if you can work alone and uh, decide uh, and, and decide yourself what to do, sure, you will have assistant. By the way, it's our uh, clinical room that our students are learning how, how, how to work and they are working with the uh, patients. So then dentistry is for you. Also, all these like disgusting things that you'll see in the mouth, all these neglected teeth or, uh, or bacteria and calculus and maybe bad smell and blood and all these stressful situations that will come to your, to, patients will come to your office. You should be calm and also uh, manage the situation. Sometimes even if you can't help and you're doing your best and still patients can lose the teeth and uh, you shouldn't give up and you should go on as well. So you have 
you need to have hands, but skills, you, you can acquire skills. You need to look at your patients and to see. You need to listen and to hear, and you need to know how to talk, and you need to use your brain to do the decisions, and you need, need to have a really good heart, and you need to love your patients, all patients that are uh, angry and unhappy and with a lot of pain, and love all of them. Also, as you was told already, at Vilnius is greener city in, in Europe, actually. It was last year and third place in, in the world. And mostly it's not so busy. Sure, we have a lot of events and a lot of other things to do. But also, if you want to find some, some quiet place, you, you could do this. And uh, from the first year, you are coming to the, um, to the clinic. And maybe first year, it's like now it's quite popular to have remote uh, lectures, remote seminars, but also in, inside as well. And we are starting with prevention. It's uh, first year, spring semester, uh, prevention of all diseases and all these seminars and even uh, contact with the uh, pupils from uh, primary schools, from uh, kindergartens, that students are doing uh, things uh, practically, teaching uh, heads how to how to take care of their teeth. Uh, second year, uh, we are uh, starting with the preclinical uh, teaching. So uh, we have um, small groups, like 10, 12 students, and each student, th they have their own uh, working place and plus two uh, simulators as well. So we are quite advanced. We have virtual thing, we have um, direct thing to, to do and to learn. So we have two semesters to, to go to the clinic. Third year, uh, third year is the clinic. We have uh, four rooms and seven seats in, in every room. So uh, students are working in pairs. One student is doctor, then dentist, the other student assistant, and they are changing periodically, same, same class or every second week. So uh, a lot of things to, to do practically and, and to learn as well. And um, you also will learn how to keep uh, teeth healthy all life. Also you learn how to restore uh, directly, indirectly, uh, how to rehabilitate all uh, dental arch, all arches, or the implants, the crowns, bridges, and all other things to to do to help your patient as well. Also, some aesthetics, like maybe not treatment, but so important for a patient to have. Uh, white teeth, nice teeth, or uh, tooth bleaching. We will we will talk as well. We you will learn how to uh, treat children, how to be friend with your patient, not just scary enemy. And sure, uh, a lot of other things like uh, ethics and general diseases, and how to manage uh, your uh, business, how to know all these legacy things as well. Uh, sure, it's so good to know how to keep a healthy teeth or life. Sure, it's so good to help to look people younger than they are, or more nice than they are, more beautiful, or to change their smile from maybe ugly to a really nice one. But, you know, sometimes our teeth necessary for happiness. So you need just to learn how to... Um, how to treat, how to uh, behave with the all the great population and to keep them uh, happy. Sometimes maybe even without teeth, uh, you can be remembered all a lot of uh, all time for, for a long time. So teeth are not so important like for uh, happy living, but still, if you make the decision to uh, be a dentist and you want to help to have really good, nice, beautiful teeth, then please come and you will, we will help achieve your dreams. So um, I finished. If you have any questions, so I think it's time now or maybe I can just have 
some some questions uh, of letters and I can answer. So as you can see, I'm in my office. I'm going to treat my uh, my patients. So bye. So thank you, Professor Ruta, for, for your excellent presentations. And yes, I know that you are in hurry to your to go back to your patients. So thank you very much for your time. And now let's go to medicine study program. Uh, it will be presented by Professor Viva Hendrickson. She is a professor in physiology and also vice dean for education and strategic partnership. So Professor Viva, please. Hi, everyone. Uh, I don't have any slides prepared, so I will talk um, um, in a, as an administrator more than a professor this time because I, I will, I'm going maybe to summarize some stuff's already been um, um, explained very nicely. Uh, sure, uh, Professor Ruta was a bit too modest because dentistry is an excellent program that we have. And what is extremely important that we um, that Everyone has a working place, which is luxury in terms of, uh, you know, the, at, uh, of uh, equipment and facilities we offer. But the medicine program is also very nice and uh, also very well. It's a great uh, um, opportunity and decision uh, to uh, choose Vilnius University. So Damien explained excellent why you should you should choose Vilnius University and what I would like to add that we were um, um, awarded with a with the best score um, um, in um, um, support of students so we are we are very good in uh, in keeping the best community so already was has been mentioned that students and uh, and the professors and the teachers and the staff are actually in a very good relationship and we are very proud of this uh medicine but the, to study medicine of course is um um it's a big deal because medicine is is not easy program to study a lot of long long hours uh, a lot of uh, textbooks, a lot of uh, material to digest, uh, but also a lot of help and support from the faculty, from the peers. A um, little bit uh, about those uh, technical uh, things. Now the, the program, our program that we offer here is an integrated study program. Duration of the program is a six years long. And uh, the last year, uh, the, the sixth year is an internship, which is integrated into our studies. Uh, so um, the, um, mm, there's 360 CTS credits uh, and qualification awarded would be medical doctor and master in health uh, sciences. So uh, I would happily tell you that we just been accredited for the uh, for the maximum duration for the six, seven years. So uh, I'm proud to, to to announce here that 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 our program was awarded in the, the maximum um, score. And now, um, what is um, um, what is special maybe about our program because we are not only medicine that is a uh, that that is offered in Lithuania even uh, our program um, we teach according to classical model I should say uh, but this classical teaching model um, actually is to ensure uh, you you that you will develop a, a firm foundation in fundamental sciences before entering uh, the clinical field. So basically, we start from the fundamental sciences, from such as anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, and that would be your first year of studies. Uh, and then gradually we we uh, we move to to purely clinical subjects. Um, so starting the third year, um, only clinical subjects are, are taught. Uh, and besides that, we also have those, um, you know, the, the general uh, university um, 
education subjects or um, the uh, humanities like psychology, uh, like uh, logic and other stuff that you can choose. So that this is block of electives that you will be able to choose. So this is kind of also in a, in a way of flexible flexibility. And um, of course, there are obligatory um, because we are very we, we are regulated a profession. So you you should know that. So it's very strictly reg regulated according to directives, European directives. But beside that, we're happy to offer some 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 other uh, courses that you you could choose. Now, uh, I would like to uh, highlight that we are very um, um, diverse. Um, academic community. Our students uh, come from 47 countries, from various uh, nationalities. So we are very life and vibrant and uh, always changing uh, the faculty. And which is very nice. So diversity is 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 a, is a thing we celebrate cultures. So here you will find friends uh, for life, of course, from 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 all the world world, from all five uh, continents. Um, we also offer uh, mobility. So, uh, of course, all the universities offer mobility, academic mobility. We also offer um, internships abroad. Um, we have um, agreements with, with, with the hospitals. Uh, we have um, agreement with the German hospital pool. So, and the many options to uh to travel to spend not to travel but to spend your your studies abroad um and um also uh i would also like to stress that interaction with the with the patient starts at the very early stage so actually the first year the first semester our students already go to the clinics they we have a, a first aid resuscitation uh, course there um the, the second semester they already they go to the to the to the hospitals to fir first meet um, patients. Uh, and we also um, offer a Lithuanian course. This is uh, completely free of charge. It's a, um, it's a well, optional. There is some credits are incorporate, incorporated into the curriculum, but um, the, the students can choose uh, more credits to to reach the um, the the B B level of uh, of language Lithuanian language, um, and this is totally you know covered by by the faculty, so no tuition fee for for those courses. And we think we we uh, we think that is crucial um, to get better integrated into the country and also to um, to better communicate with the with the patients. Um, yeah, so. Um, so those things, I think it's very attractive uh, that we uh, we would like you to consider. And we, of course, we uh, we would be very happy to welcome you at campus. Uh, there are three campuses at the Faculty of Medicine at the moment, but we are building the fourth one, which will be a research center. Uh, it's going to be built the next year, so uh, it will incorporate a big uh, simulation center and new facilities and uh, uh, nice areas for, for for students to gather together to study the, um, the the library. So actually regarding the library, Damien mentioned that we have a, a lot of publications, but we we gradually moving towards the electronic databases. So uh, the, the faculty invests a lot to to those um, tools, to uh, to databases, to well, to, to virtual simulation labs and so on and so forth. I teach human physiology. I also incorporated some some uh, virtual simulations into my class. And as as I as far as I know, the students are very happy about this. So yeah, so welcome. Choose us, and you will not be disappointed. So I hope to meeting you in 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 the autumn. Thanks a lot. And if you have any questions, just let us know. Thank you, Professor Vaiva, for interesting and I think useful information. And yes, if uh, anybody has some questions, so it is time to ask. If no, uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us. 
And if you will have any questions in future, please do not hesitate to contact, to write to us, and we will be more than happy to help. And for now, thank you for your attention and have a good evening. Bye.